So we are staying at County Line Campground in... Summit, South Dakota. Summit, South Dakota. And we don't typically do Passport America reviews, but this is the nicest Passport America campground that we have ever stayed in. Yep. Uh, we use Passport America quite a bit when we're leaving a major destination and uh, just use them to fill in as we're going to our next stop. And it's a 50% off club, but some of them are in rough shape, some of them are older, some of them uh, just have uh, just a little bit of issues. We, we use them because you get that 50% off. Yeah, but this is a great one, so we're gonna show you around. Let's do it. So let's talk about full hookups. Do they have them? Oh yes, they do. They got 50 and 30 amp, so cover you no matter what your rigs are. Uh, sewer, water, so full hookups. So, you know we love having full hookups, so we're giving it a 10. Okay, so for the ease of backing in, we're gonna give that a 10. These are really long sights, as you can see down the lift of our camper. Um, and they're all pull through, which is really, really nice. We love pull through sights. Don't mind backing in, but love pull through sights. But they're just super long. You really don't even have to disconnect your toe unless you want to, or unless your husband has left your extra cord back at the house in the garage. What? Then you might have to disconnect so that you can plug it and use electricity when it's 90 degrees. Either way, we give it a tip. So, how are the sights? And let me tell you, we had no issues. Ours was gravel and fairly level. We didn't have to do much to get them level. So, uh, good job on our site. But there are the other sites, as you can see, that are starting to grow over with the, the grass. And I don't know if they use, don't use that middle section as much. But, uh, so we'll probably give it about a seven, a little bit of work that needs to be done at some of these, maybe a little more gravel and a little bit of uh, grass killer. So that's how they get the seven. So let's talk about the staff. The staff are camp workers. They're here for the summer. Uh, the lady was just very, very nice. I'm gonna give the staff a 10. She actually talked to me, answered my questions. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better camp host. She's a great example. Give them a 10. Okay, for the bathhouse and the laundry, we're gonna give that an eight. I like the fact that the bathhouse, there were only four uh, different sections of the bathhouse, four different showers, but I do like the fact that the bathhouse had each ones were individual. You had the whole thing there, you go in, you lock the door and you had your own space and that's really good. Also, they were very clean. The bathhouse was very clean. The laundry was a little small, but uh, I can't remember now, uh, it'll show in the video. There were either three, I think there were three units, washer and dryer, and the price was very, very reasonable on the laundry. Not like some other places we've been where it's six or seven dollars a load. The bathhouse did need a little updating, but uh, we're gonna give it an eight. Overall, very good rating. Let's talk connectivity. Now, our T-Mobile had three bars, it struggled a little bit at times, but really has come on strong here, so that's good. Our AT&T phones, we've had about three bars on those, so that's worked okay. And as far as television, and we only usually just watch the news or the, the weather, mainly the weather. And we were able to pick up six channels, um, and some of those we weren't able to find a channel with news. So what we want to do is give it a nine for connectivity activities and amenities so what there is to do in the park on wednesday nights they have a music thing up front out on the patio or inside if it's too hot or raining and everyone brings their instrument not only from the campground but from the little town that's located nearby bring your instrument with you and join together and just play it sounds like a great time to me we were not here on wednesdays so we missed that all together which i think would be fun they also have propane available. Um, they have an ice cream truck up front, which is just the cutest little thing. I'm sure Danny will pop that in here. The ice cream truck, and they sell ice cream every day, which is really, really two, cute. Two to nine. Yeah, two to nine, unless they get done with all their chores early. And if they do that, then they open it earlier. So for the activities and amenities, this is not a place you come to. If There's no pool, there's no uh, dog park, which is, fine we don't typically use a pool and Bella doesn't care anything at all about a dog park so 
we're giving it a seven for activities and amenities. So overall, pretty good. So how are the roads? Now the roads are gravel, uh, no potholes at all. So we love that. Uh, they're not paved, so can't give it a 10. And some of the roads need a little bit of work. So overall, we're gonna give the roads an eight. Now here's one thing that everyone is always interested in, is cost per value. We use Passport America from when we're leaving our major destination to our next major destination from point A to point B and stop along the way and fill it in with the Passport America. Passport America gives you 50% off campgrounds. So this campground has a great cost per value. It was only $21, $22 with tax to stay here. And it's limited to Passport America. If you know anything about it, there's each park is different. They'll tell you which day you can use that 50% discount. So we happened to hit it up on a Thursday and got 50% off and it's a great value for the park. Love it. And we're going to give it a 10. So our last category is things to do in the area. Now, let me say this, this is a stopover for us. It would be a stopover for most people. However, I have been told that a lot of people come here because of the lakes and the fishing in the area. Yep, and uh, also someone mentioned it was a, a great place, uh, our neighbor mentioned uh, a great place for antiques. Uh, also mentioned uh, the downtown had a antebellum home and some other history items such as that. So as Lynn said, this is not a, a draw to, for you to come and spend a week. It's more of a, right. a stopover for a day or two. And if you use that Passport America, you cannot beat the, beat the price. Right. With that being said, we're giving things to do in the area a five. Yep. And before we show you a few things that we saw, we really didn't do anything here because like we said, it was overnight. Stopover, yep. We'll show you a few things that we saw. But before we do that, let's give you the grand total. And the grand total is? So the grand total for County Line Campground in Summit, South Dakota is an 85. Definitely worth a stop. Yep. And especially if you're Passport America, uh, remember Passport America is only $44 in a year and it gives you 50% off on campground. So if you stay at two places, you've made your money back. You made your money back. So we, we use it quite a bit throughout the year and it really helps us save a little bit of money, especially with the cost of campgrounds these days. Ooh, right. Terrible. It's been a rough summer for campground calls. <laughs> so let's show you the few things that we did see. But first, let's show you some more cool things about the campground. So after talking to the lady up front, the host, uh, that's the campground host, you see this cute little vintage camper behind me? They have a vintage camper show every single year. Last year was their first one. So this coming year, they're already making plans for their second annual vintage camper show. And if you would like to be part of that, go online to their Facebook page and that's where you can get connections and everything or else call them here at the office and they will tell you everything you need to know to become part of this. This is really cute here. And also just so that you know, they have a cabin and a camper. If you're coming through the area and need a place to stay overnight, they got you covered. So this is just the regular cabin. Oh, very nice. Oh, it sleeps quite a few too. Yeah, it sleeps a lot, bunk beds. Oh, this is 72. Okay, I thought they were 60, so that's pretty close. And he's redone the whole inside? Yeah. Just gutted it and put that there. Oh, well, Lottie and Dottie, don't you look how well, cute. that is cute. Not what I expected at all. Yeah. I love this wood. That's pine, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so they just made it a place to sleep overnight. Sorry, man. Oh, no, you're, you're fine, you're fine. Two dips of key lime and a waffle cone, please. And then I want two dips in a dish. Danny? Of key lime? Yes. You don't want any? Okay. That's it? That's it. All right. That's uh, $8. Oh, wow. <laughs> there you go. Well, the best for last. Look at that. Mm. You're going to wish you got some.
Hey guys, if you've enjoyed this video, take a quick minute and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Not only does it let YouTube know that you guys want us to keep producing videos, but it encourages us to keep it up. Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America.